another day, another bunch of shit to do. Makes you hungry though, so let's go get some grub. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, out and about on these missions once again, yes. But now I'm done them, I'm about to head home and we are in the last moments of daylight here and I'm starving and I don't want to deal with cooking anything. I don't want to deal with grocery shopping anything. What I do want to deal with is this. KFC, the Colonel, the Colonel. The Colonel will be calling me for a big crunch sandwich, extra lettuce, maybe some pepper mayo on there. A poutine for sure is going down. And uh, you know, maybe another little nibbly side or something like that, but for sure a sandwich and a poutine is on my mind and uh, I'm ready for it. Hello, uh, can I please get the big crunch box? Okay, do you want that spicy or regular? Uh, regular, please. Is it possible to get uh, the pepper mayo instead of a regular, like the twister mayo? Sure thing. And some extra lettuce, possibly, too. Thank you. <laughs> of course. And what do you want for your salad? Um, I will do the... Um, I'll do coleslaw. Okay. And is it possible to upgrade the fries to poutine in that? Yeah, I can do that for you. Yeah, that'd be great. And a Pepsi. Or Diet Pepsi, sorry. Yeah, and just some ketchup on the side, but yeah. Okay, then. So $15.24. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. She had that good service tone. Some people are just gifted with that customer service tone. Yeah? Sorry for being so specific. No <laughs> I lied. Would one uh, barbecue sauce be possible? I'll get you one, okay? Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. You're Have a good day. Not good BBQ. You guys know I love this BBQ, right? This BBQ runs my fucking world. <laughs> I swear. All right, now, where to eat? That's the question. In a sneaky locale. Hmm. I'm on the case. I'm on the mish. Into the mall parking lot we go. Secret stealth mall camping. Blend in with the crowd. But really, you're just being a weirdo eating on camera in your truck. Let's see what this bag has to offer, though. That girl was really great. What a great interaction. I really enjoyed her energy. Just like I'm about to enjoy this KFC with a hot, hot poutine. She's in there. I can't wait. Pop the top on a fresh diet pep. <sighs> Wet that appetite. Wet that thing up. Uh, pop into this box of treasures. Let's see what we got. Cole Slizzy. The sandwich with the uh, different mayo requested. And this one little thigh guy. <laughs> All right, check this out. The poutine reveal. Oh my god. That's not meant for toddlers. Or adults. That is really hard to get off. There we go. It's just about technique and angle. Mmm. That's looking marvelous. And we should go ahead and catch a bit. We do around here. Crack open this sando so that we can get a thumbnail. Y'all ready for this? No, 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 no. Parked in the mall parking lot and uh, blending. A lot of memories here at this mall. Lots of time just being a mall rat when you're in seventh and seventh and eighth grade. Can we go hang out at the mall? why that was ever a thing I don't know because it's just torture going somewhere where you can't afford anything you can't buy anything you're just <laughs> this broke ass kid window shopping a 
I remember hanging out at the mall and barely having enough money to enjoy the food court. We had to make that fiver stretch. But I guess it was more about hanging with your cronies. And meeting up with girls. How many of you did that? How many other mall rats are there kicking it in my audience <laughs> that used to link up at the mall mainly to try to hang out with girls? I did. A lot of perusing at Spencer's Gifts. Spencer's Gifts was always the most entertaining store to go in. It's still a very entertaining store to go in. Novelty stores. But as a kid, it was always super fun because those stores always have like an adult style section with like weird sex stuff and uh, they also had uh, back when posters were hot you could like flip through the framed out posters, the sample posters. And then if you wanted to buy the one you liked it, you can like pull it out of the rolls. Like it's all rolled up, you pull it out. But you'd always go to the one with like Carmen Electra or Pam Anderson. And just stand there and almost like bust your nut. <laughs> uh, juvenile. Being 12. Good times. That poutine was a hitter. Oh, oh man. Ooh, that Pepsi is crisp and cold. No, they did do it. They did hit me with that pepper mayo. You can see those flecks in there. If you've never done it, get them to change it up. It's, uh, it's the best. Mmm. They didn't come through on the extra lettuce though, unfortunately. <laughs> There's hardly any in there. I don't know what it is with KFC, but they're so stingy with the lettuce. They almost always just put barely any. I love the crunch and the cold, like crisp. Little watered down element. When I'm having a chicken sandwich. This is still very good though.
pepper mayo is saving the day. Back to my mall talk. The best mall was always the mall with the movie theater. Those were the best. Play some arcade games. Hang out outside the theaters. Catch a movie. Run into a lot of people. Those were the days. Get some milk duds. Almost tear, <laughs> tear your teeth out. Which was fine back then because they were pulling out, pulling out your baby teeth. A determined milk dud used to just expedite that process for your wimpy ass <laughs> who wouldn't pull it out. Hey. I used to low-key love pulling my baby teeth. Like, I wasn't afraid of it. And them being in there all jiggly, it just annoyed me. I was so I was so ready for it to come out. You just mess with it for long enough, you get it loose. Give her a good tug. And then you get blessed with motherfucking candy money. So that was another incentive for me. was like the sooner I pull this bitch out the faster I'm getting a bag of candy coleslaw gotta get our greens in you know get myself a nice crisp toonie that's two dollars here grab myself a nice bag of candy from the corner store. That's what was up back then. This is kind of gross. I'm over it. I got the good parts. I like uh they used to always do with coke they always used to do like win under the lid so you buy a pop you go you you, you try to pull the the uh the plastic tab under the lid even though it was like impossible you had to have like crazy nails to get in there and you flip it and it's like sorry you lose or you win and yo I used to have the fucking telekinesis I'd look at that fridge I'd look at the line of bottles and I could just manifest a winner but pop it boom we get another one free another one free another one free I used to I used to honestly for some reason I used to win like all the time it was dope <laughs> I wonder why they don't do that anymore do, 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 do the lids even have the that plastic thing under it anymore. I'll have to look at the next time I buy a, buy a bottle of pop. I've, I have not looked under a lid of a bottle of pop for so long. I, I don't even know what the purpose of those plastic things was. I thought it was for freshness, 
but I feel like they don't even exist anymore. Maybe they were just for contests. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> ramblings of my youth. But uh, we're all done here. So until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true. <laughs>